Hi, Jeremy. Hi. We're going to be doing a model fitting on you today. Um, so that's going to involve me taking lots of measurements um, from your head down to your torso. And this is going to be for a bust that we make out of clay. So we want to get really specific measurements all over your face, uh, your body, and your back. Okay. okay. So I'll ask you to make some movements for me occasionally, but otherwise just uh, stay seated. I am going to pull your hair back though, so that we can get the full shape of the face. Is that okay? Yep. Just close your eyes for me. Just trying to get the hair as smooth as possible to get the most accurate facial and head shape. I feel all right, Jeremy? Mm -hmm. okay, let's just make sure. Okay, yes, that's perfect. I'm going to start off just taking a couple photographs for us to reference when building the sculpture. I'm going to have you look in a couple of different directions here, okay? Mm -hmm. So just look ahead for me. I'm going to take a profile. Okay. And again, just look straight ahead. I get one from this side. Get one of the torso. Okay. I'll also be using these photos to mark the measurements. So since we started with the right side profile, we'll go begin with the measurements there as well. Again, you may keep your eyes closed for the remainder of the session. Unless otherwise noted, I will have to measure the eyes open and closed, but other than that, just relax. And I am just going to draw a slight little mark just on that midline there, just so we have a reference point from the middle, okay? Okay. So how we do that is just measuring first between the eyes. Keep your eyes closed, you'll feel some cool metal here. Our 
first measuring from the middle of the forehead to the edge of the first ear. That was just from the top of the forehead to the top of the crown of the head. I'm going to be measuring the inside of the eye, then the outside of the eye. Nine and a half, ten and a half. And down to the lips. And the bridge of the nose here. Okay. Lastly, base of the neck, 24 centimeters. And around this way. As you can see, that ends up with a full range of measurements there, okay? So I do want to just measure for the other side now, okay. so I'll move over there. So I'm going to make all those measurements again, so again, starting from this midline. Bring down the center. Thirteen.
moving down the front of the face now. Twelve to the nose, seventeen to the bottom lip, twenty-two to the chin. I'm going to go around here, circumference. Just one last one, and that's from the middle here to the corner of the lip, 16. And actually to the bridge of the nose as well, 13. All right. So we're just a few inconsistencies there from side to side, completely normal. No one is perfectly symmetrical. Um, so I am going to use a tool to just measure that symmetry and mark it onto a paper, okay? So again, just keep those eyes closed so I don't poke anything. Um, I will be doing the front of the face, getting the width of the nose and the eyes as well um, after this, all right? So I'm just going to measure side to side here. So left midpoint to ear here. We'll do the same thing on the right side, making adjustments as needed. Going from bottom of ear to bridge of nose. That is symmetrical. Slight new symmetry there, so marking first the left side. for the right. Okay. I'm going to go from top to bottom here. Some asymmetry there too, so working first the left side. Only about a millimeter difference there, so not a major difference. And then just getting from midline to the back of the head here. Mark that first on the left and compare it to the right here. And that is symmetrical. So we did confirm some slight differences there, but nothing major. We have a very symmetrical face overall. Let's move on to the front of the face now. I'm just going to be measuring um, the distance between the eyes, the nose, and mouth. So basically the center of the face. We do have the whole um, outside of the face already measured. 
So you will feel my tape measure on the skin. And I'll start with your eyes, just because that's a sensitive area, so we'll get it finished, okay? So we're just going to measure from inner lid to outer, four and a half centimeters. I'm going to go from the bottom now, about four centimeters. Could you open your eyes for me, please, comfortably? That's about a centimeter to a half centimeter from middle to outside. I'll do the same thing on the other side now. So I'll bump the lid here from corner to corner. It's four and a half. Below is four and two, a fourth. And open for me, please. That's the same. get from the top of your nose down to the bottom here. And from side to side here. I'm going to get the opening of the nair. From the nair to the cheek to the ear is 12 centimeters. Same thing on the other side here. 11 point three four. Measuring the space between the upper lip and the bottom of the nose. At its peak is about two centimeters. From corner to corner here. Four. I'm going to measure the lips now. So at the thickest point and the thinnest point, and we can work out the tapering from there. Same thing on the upper. Two peaks. Measuring the size of the forehead now, moving up. From the bottom lip to the tip here. And chin down. Four. Okay. Almost finished. I just have a couple more measurements here, and it's going to be from the corner of the lip to the ear. And lastly, just across the face, so from hairline to hairline, same thing here, and here, here, and here, 18, 25, 27. Okay. As you can see, we have full measurements now. Mm -hmm. We'll do the same thing to track the symmetry on the face, and then I'm just going to um, do some drawing actually on the uh, upper portion of the torso, and that's the last bit we need for the bust, okay? So again, keep your eyes closed, we're just going to check symmetry of the eyes. That looks symmetrical to me.
Coming down to the nose, I'm just going to run it down. A little asymmetry there on the nose, so we'll mark that. Very, very slight though. Lips look symmetrical. Looking at the face itself. I'll just make one marking for fun here, just in case. On this right shoulder here, we're just going to get some uh, measurements from down and then across the front, and then I'll just have you swivel around to get the back. Okay. So starting just from the base of the neck to the top of the shoulder. I'm going to be placing my hand right here on the neck here. Thank you. Shoulder to shoulder. If you mind, just, just going to get underneath here. Get a full circumference. 45 centimeters there, we'll get the other side. And then same thing on the other side. And just one around the arm here. And on this side, just below. make some markings on the shirt itself. I'm just visually seeing where I would want to sculpt the end point here, okay? Right down to that breastplate. Sectioning off into the pieces that I'll sculpt. Looking on this side for symmetry.
we are going to make the bottom portion of the sculpture perfectly symmetrical so that it supports you equally uh, and that the top of the sculpture does not have any issues with weight. So only measurements from one side, but let's just make sure they're going to be pretty similar. fine. I'm going to have you um, stand up and I'm going to give you a stool so you can swivel around and I can get the back measurements, okay? Okay. Thank you. First I just want to take a photo here so we can make the markings. Okay, very good. starting out from the base of the top of the head to do the base of the skull. Moving from the mid Moving down the back here. Just from side to side. Be marking the back now. So we have the mark here. We'll use that to project on the other side and it is perfectly symmetrical. go about down to here. Let's get that from the front. We're just looking for depth here, okay? So I'm measuring from here to here. We mark that down. And measuring the same thing on the other side. Up here to here. Alright. I'm just going to get the, along the top here. Normal tapering. side. And from about two and a half centimeters from top to bottom. All right. So Jeremy, I think that has all the measurements I need today. You can swing around for me, please. All right, Jeremy. So that is all for the measurements today. I will have you return to the studio when the sculpture is about 70% done so we can visually um, match. Um, and that's going to just be the sculptor with their artistic um, eye 
looking at you and looking at the sculpture to try and match it perfectly, okay? Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, we're really looking forward to making this into a model for you. Thanks.